My name is Lisbeth Augustinus. I am a researcher at the Center for Computational Linguistics at the KU Leuven. I have a background in linguistics and um, computational linguistics, and I just finished my PhD on uh, Dutch verb clusters. Most people uh, will probably remember uh, those exercises they had in, in high school um, where you get a, a couple of sentences and you have to analyze them. You have to say what is the subject, um, the verb it belongs to, what is the, the object that it takes, the direct object, the indirect object. Um, and a tree bank is actually a digital collection of such analyzed sentences. And the analysis can be done manually, uh, but also automatically. We have pieces of software, which is called a parser. Uh, you can send um, a sentence to the parser and then uh, it will annotate this sentence with uh, those syntactic annotations for you. Maybe it's easiest to illustrate that by means of an example um, to illustrate the phenomenon of uh, verb clustering uh, in Dutch. For instance, we see two sentences here. Um, the first one, dat ik heb gezien dat Cecilia het nailpaard voerde. In this case, all the uh, verbs heb gezien and here at the back we have voerde. Um, they occur together with their non-verbal arguments. So here, ik en heb gezien and Cecilia het nailpaard belongs to voerde. But in the second sentence, we, so dat ik Cecilia het nailpaard heb zien voeren, we see that all the uh, non-verbal elements occur at the front of the sentence, whereas the verbs clusters at the end of the sentence heb zien voeren, and so they are separated from their non-verbal arguments, uh, which belong to those verbs, and this results in this. Uh, cross serial dependencies and it has fascinated researchers for years why we have this in Dutch and how we uh, can actually link those uh, verbs to the correct arguments even though they are separated. Those verb clusters have been studied for decades because it is such an interesting phenomenon but um, what I wanted to do is, um, because we have those digital collections now, those tree banks and large digital corpora, uh, I wanted to investigate um, yeah, what people say that is theoretical po theoretically possible uh, versus what people actually use. Because um, those tree banks, they contain um, authentic language data, it's not... Uh, it does not contain interviews like can you say this or uh, because people might say other things than what they actually use. So uh, I wanted to compare those theoretical studies to um, what is actually in there. A very typical example is um, the one um, of uh, Batus where he uses uh, up to six or seven verbs um, together as a cluster, uh, for instance, wij hadden nu wel eens naar haar willen zien durven blijven staan gluren, where actually you have a parsing problem yourself if you try to analyze uh, that sentence. Uh, a more natural one is, for example, one taken from the, the Corpus Spoken Dutch, uh, wat volgens ons volledig uit de lucht gegrepen is, where you only have uh, two verbs together. And from my tree bank uh, research, I uh, found that at least for the data that I have used that 90% only of, of the sentences with verb clusters only contain two verbs, a bit less than 10% three verbs and uh, less than 1% uh, are four verb clusters. Gretel stands for greedy extraction of trees for empirical linguistics. So yeah, it is meant as a, as a, as a search tool for uh, tree banks. At the start of this, this project, I actually asked other linguists why they were so reluctant towards using those tree banks. They were like, yeah, it's, it's very complicated, those query language, and I, I can't always find what I'm looking for, and it takes such a long time. Um, so then I thought, well, maybe we can use um, as an input something that linguists are familiar with and that is natural language. 
So you can just type in a, yeah, an example sentence of the phenomenon that you are interested in and then it is a stepwise procedure to um, actually formulate the query and the actually um, yeah, the formal query itself is automatically generated by Gretel and that one can be used to query the tree bank. Here we see that um, Gretel finds 126 hits in uh, the Lassi corpus, which is uh, more than uh, 65,000 sentences. And then in the bottom part of the page, you can see uh, some examples. So, dat had ik wel eens willen zien. So, this is indeed a correct uh, IPP construction, a form of hebben, followed by uh, two more verbs. Uh, and the first one is an in infinitive. Um, same for the next one, heeft moeten loodsen. So, yeah, heeft kunnen afsluiten. So, those examples are correct. And here we see as well why it is so interesting for, uh, to use tree banks um, for uh, such syntactic constructions. There can be a lot of uh, material in between the first verb, so the perfect auxiliary, and um, the verbs at the end of the construction. So that's why it is useful to use tree banks uh, rather than um, a flat, um, for instance, post-act corpus for uh, those kind of um, questions.